up, man? It's Brian with NeverSafe.com, and since 2016 is over, it is that time of year that people start thinking about their goals. And for most people, what that means is that they'll write down a couple things on a piece of paper, they'll follow for two or three weeks, and they'll never look at it again. So what I want to do in this video is take your 2017 training goals, deconstruct them, take all the mystery out, take all the guessing out, so that in 2018, you will show up a better, stronger athlete. But before we get into that, I wanna cover a couple things about goals. The very first thing is that all of your goals should be measurable. It is not enough to say, I wanna be stronger in 2017. That's like saying I wanna be prettier. That's not gonna happen. So rather than just saying that you wanna be stronger, you need to take actual, measurable, quantifiable amounts on the numbers that you want to hit this year. Now, when you choose these numbers, they should probably be realistic and attainable. I want you to stretch yourself. I want you to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. That said, if your current squat is 300 pounds, you probably shouldn't be going for a 600 pound squat by 2018. How far you do stretch these numbers is gonna depend on how long you've been lifting, whether you're at the beginner stage, intermediate stage, or advanced stage, and no one can tell you that except for yourself. So be realistic. The third thing you should already be doing, so it should go without saying, but you need to track your progress. If you plan on doing a huge weight loss goal in 2017, you may want to keep a food journal. And you should have already been writing down what you've been doing in your workouts. You have to think about it like a race car. If a race car is trying to beat its best time ever, it will tell you exactly what tires it ran, what fuel it ran, what changes they made, what tweaks they made to the engine six months ago on their third run of the sixth lap. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about race cars. But if you can't tell me what weight you did on your third set of squats out of eight six months ago, then you can't look back and see what you've been doing well, what went well, what didn't go well. You need to be tracking your progress so that you can look back and see what worked and what didn't. The fourth thing I think you should do if you want to be successful is be accountable to somebody else. Now, I did this by keeping a log on T Nation so that everyone could see it. I've been doing this for longer than I can remember. I still do it to this day. I don't really have training partners. I have people that are at the gym the same time with me every single day and they give me spots and they give me tips and cues and that is very, very helpful, but I don't have anyone that actually does the exact same workouts that I do every single day. So I chose to keep that online log so that if I do not show up for a couple days and I'm not tracking my progress, some will always reach out and say, hey man, like whatever happened with your squat, I thought you were trying to squat 700 pounds. Where, what's going on with that? But if you have some good training partners, I would share your goals with them so that they can keep you on pace and on track because if you're only accountable to yourself, you will go astray. And the fifth and final thing, which this entire video is gonna be based around, is you need to follow a plan. Now my gym is based in Westminster, Maryland. If I want to go to California, I can't just jump in a car and say, go west and hope that I get there. I need a roadmap. I need designated spots where I'm gonna stop, check my progress, make sure that I'm on the correct roads, make sure that I hit the right landmarks, make sure that I am headed in the right direction to my end destination. If you're not doing that, you are not going to get where you want to be. It is not enough to just say, I wanna be stronger or I wanna squat 600 pounds. You need a plan and that is what we're gonna move on to now. So if you would be so kind, why don't you come with me? Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna make a couple of assumptions, even though you know what making assumptions does. And I'm gonna say that you're probably a beginner to intermediate lifter. If you're advanced, you probably know a lot of this stuff already, so maybe you'll get something, maybe you won't, but either way, keep watching the video because I could use the ad revenue. So we're gonna assume that you're gonna run a program that is gonna be a 10-week program, then you're gonna take one week deload to one week of testing. That gives you 12 total weeks per cycle of program, per program, I don't care what program you run as long as you are doing something by a semi-reputable coach and you put the time and effort and you care about your recovery and your diet, every program works. That said, I do sell personalized programs through my site, which are the absolute best out there. I'm kidding, but I'm not really kidding. Anyway, so you're looking at 12 total weeks per program and your goals for each program. Easy, trophy. This is not starting well. But in that three month period, we're gonna set some goals hoping to add 10 pounds to our upper body list, being the overhead press and the bench press. And we're gonna add 20 pounds to our lower body, being the deadlift and the squat. Now, if you're more advanced, obviously these numbers are gonna be a little bit lower. If you're a very much beginner, these numbers may be higher, but this is a good goal to shoot for per three month, 12 week program. So that's what we're gonna stick with because I think that is gonna be most applicable to the most amount of people. Moving on. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. And what we have here is a table or a matrix where I laid out your current PR, your goal weight, how many pounds away those two things are, 
how many pounds you need per program, per three month, 12 week program, and where you should be at month three, month six, month nine, and month 12. So if you start in January, if you start right now, this is where you should be in March, this is where you should be in June, this should be September, and this should be the end of December, ending you in 2018 with bigger numbers. But what we're basically looking at here is kind of an advanced lifter because it's gonna be smaller gains, an intermediate that has intermediate gains, and a beginner, which is gonna be able to make bigger jumps. So we're starting out with 350 pounds on the squat, and our end goal is gonna be 405 by 2018. The difference, if you take 405 and you subtract 350, you will have 55 pounds. So you are 55 pounds away from your goal. That means each three month, 12 week period, you're gonna need to gain 13.75 or 14 total pounds on that PR. So that means at month three, you need to be at 363 pounds. If you are not there, you need to fix something. And month six, you need to be at 377. Month nine is 391. In month 12, you should be at 405. Do you see what I did there? If you didn't, that's completely fine because now we're gonna go over the intermediate. So I said for an advanced lifter that we're gonna gain about 14 pounds per program, per 12 week program. That might be a little much, that might be not enough. You know yourself, you know your training. I personally, if I gained 14 pounds in a 12 week period, I would be the happiest man alive. But some beginners gain 14 pounds per workout. So that's why I laid that out. For the intermediate, I said you're gonna gain about 18 pounds or 20, kind of what we set out at the beginning of this thing for an intermediate to beginner type of lifter. So if you start out with 335 on the squat and you wanted to squat 405 by the end of 2017, that means that you're 70 pounds away. Again, all that I did was took 405 and I subtracted 335. Got that difference at 70 pounds. Now for all you mathematicians, since you're doing four different programs throughout the year, three months, each program, there's 12 months in a year, that means four. So you take the pounds that you're away and you divide it by four. That will give you 17.5 and we round up to 18 because we always round up in lifting, hopefully. Anyway, so that means that at month three, you need to be at 353 pounds. At month six, you're at 370. Month nine, you're at 388, which will get you to 405 by December 2017. When we go to beginner, a beginner is somebody who can make bigger jumps just because they're learning the new patterns, the motor patterns, the neuro patterns. They're learning the movement, they can make bigger jumps. So we're gonna assume that they're gonna make 23 or 25 pounds per three month period. So we start at 315 and you want to jump all the way to 405. That is a 90 pound difference, giving you 22.5 pounds per program or 23 means that you need to be at 338 by March, 360 pounds by June, 382 by September, and that will get you to 405 in December. I hope this makes sense. Again, you're taking your current PR and what you want to do. You subtract your goal, from your current PR, that will give you how many pounds you're away. Then you take how many pounds you're away and you divide that by four because you're doing four programs throughout the year. Three month programs, you do four of them in a 12 month period, and that will give you how many pounds you need per program, how many pounds you need to gain. If you are going through, this is just like a roadmap. If I'm driving to California, I might need to stop in Tennessee. At Tennessee, I better be at 363 pounds. If I'm not, I need to change something up. I need to change my programming. I need to look at my diet. I need to look at my recovery. I need to figure out where I'm going wrong. Then if I drive further over and I stop in Colorado, now it's June and I need to be at 377 pounds. I hope you guys know where I'm going with this. I'm not gonna keep telling it. You guys, you guys know what's going on. I'm gonna lay out a couple more numbers for you guys. Let's go. All right, so now we move on to that poverty bench. I know a lot of you want to bench 300 pounds. We're gonna get you there this year. So if you are an advanced lifter, we're gonna guess that you're gonna make around seven pounds of progress per three month period because again, when you're advanced, you'd make smaller jumps. And remember on the upper body movements, we're only trying to gain about 10 pounds per three month period to our PR. So if you start at 275 and your end goal is 300, that means that you are 25 pounds away or you need 6.25 or seven because we round up per program. For per three month period, you need to gain seven pounds. That means in March, you need to be at 282. In June, 288. In September, 294. And that should leave you in December with 300. If you're more intermediate lifter, we're gonna say that you're gonna gain 12, 13 pounds, a little more than 10, 
you're still making pretty good gains, but you're not quite at the advanced stage where you're making less than 10. So you're going from 250 and you want to be at 300. You're currently at 250. Now you want to get 300, that's 50 pounds away. Remember, I took my goal weight and I subtracted it from my current PR. That gave me 50 pounds. I divided that by four because of the four programs. That gives me 12.5, we're just gonna say 13. That means in March I need to be at 263, June is 275, September is 287, and December is 300. I hope all this makes sense. I lay it out again. Here's a beginner idea, going from 225 to 300. That means that you're gonna gain 75 pounds this year, or 18.75, 19, 20 pounds per program. Means that you need to be at 244 after three months, 263 after six months, 282 after nine months, and that will get you 300. I don't even know that I need to lay out deadlift. Nah, you got shut up, I know. All right, last time, I swear, I'm just gonna go over an intermediate deadlift progression for 2017 so that you can apply these, these principles to your own numbers so that hopefully you guys can show up stronger in 2018 and 2017 will be the year that you deadlifted 500 pounds. So, your current deadlift is 425 pounds. Your goal is 500. I took 500 and subtracted 425 from it. That gave me 75. So I'm 75 pounds away from my goal. I need to gain 75 pounds this year. I took this number and I divided it by four because of the four programs throughout the year. That gives me 19 pounds, let's just say 20 pounds per program, per three month program, I need to gain 20 pounds on my deadlift. That would be awesome. So here in March, you need to be at 444. Now I know before I get a bunch of comments, I can't load a barbell at 444. I am well aware, my friend. Do your best, come on. In June or month six, you need to be at 463. In September, month nine, you need to be at 482. And in December, that should have you pulling that 500 pounds, which is a huge milestone. Congratulations. I'm gonna congratulate you already because I know you're gonna get it done. All right, guys, so there you go. That is personally how I deconstruct my PRs for each year. Again, you need to set realistic goals and a great way to be realistic about it is look at how many pounds you need to gain per program. If you're thinking that you're gonna be gaining 70 pounds per program, I would probably say that you're wrong. So you need to be realistic and those numbers need to be attainable. If you're more advanced, maybe those numbers are only five pounds or 10 pounds or whatever you need to do, but set your goals and now you have a roadmap of knowing exactly where you need to be at month three, at month six, at month nine, and month 12. I do hope some of you found this helpful and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys need help setting something up or laying things out, I do sell personal training and I do sell personalized programs. I think anyone can lay out their own roadmap. That's not a question, but sometimes a trip is a little easier if you have a navigator who's been on that road before. So you don't get lost. And trust me, I have been on that road and have been lost plenty of times before, but I do really appreciate you guys watching. Until I see you later in the week, go out and do something amazing with your lives, figure out your numbers, people, be nice to each other, keep working hard, and I will see you then.